So here we have the Vauxhall Grandland X on a 21 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well. Uh, and you do have that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, first of all, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the right-hand side. In the center at the top, the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges, and beneath that, the trip computer, which includes the total miles for this car. They are 35,621. Uh, above that, we then have our trip computer information, which can be changed using controls on the indicator stalk. As you can see, you can have a digital readout for the speedometer, amongst lots of other different bits of information. If we back out to the steering wheel next, we have cruise control, speed limiter, heated uh, steering wheel here as well, stereo and phone controls. You'll only be able to choose the phone controls once you pair the phone up to the car, which is done on the screen over in the center. It's also where you'll find the satellite navigation, as you can see. We've done a full video showing how this sat-nav system works. Uh, you can find that on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. When it comes to audio in this car, uh, we've got the radio, so DAB, AM and FM radio, USB input, iPod input, and Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly once you paired up your phone. Uh, this car also has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so depending on what phone you have, you can access those as well. Below that, we then have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed as well. When you're happy with those settings, that's your air conditioning on. Same button to turn it off or hit auto, the car will now take control of the fan speed to maintain those temperatures for you. You can manually override that whenever you wish to. With a heated front screen and a heated rear screen, we also have a heated driver seat and passenger seat, both with three different heat settings each, and an air conditioned seat with three different settings. Uh, if you've not had this before, it's fantastic, uh, obviously particularly for the summertime. We have some storage underneath here, 12 volt charging socket and a USB input as well. Uh, we then have the ability to turn the child locks on and off, parking sensors on and off, the stop and start on and off. We have a lane departure warning system, tire deflation warning system, which you can reset from there, and you can turn your traction control off as well. We then have, lastly, the six-speed manual gearbox. Last thing I wanted to mention is the panoramic glass roof. So there's a button up here that will open the sun blind. You can stop that at any point you wish to. Uh, this is a fixed section of glass, um, but as you can see, with that fully open, that lets in a huge amount of extra light to the cabin area. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULES compliant car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.